I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to some international test papers. Here is the one from GCE. And now this test paper is advanced level mathematics, which is uh, equivalent to AP mathematics here in US. Let us see how to solve question number four. I'm actually taking individual solutions to each questions. You can always look into solutions of other questions from this test paper in this playlist. Question number four here is, the curve with equation y equals to two times ln eight minus x, meet the line y equals to x at a single point, x equals to alpha. Show that alpha is between three and four. Now, here's a graph also given to you. That's the line y equals to x, and that's the curve y equals to two ln eight minus x. Now, based on this, we have a couple of questions. Figure two shows the graph of y equals to 2 ln 8 minus x and the graph of y equals to x. A student uses the iteration formula x n plus 1 equals to twice ln 8 minus x n, where n belongs to natural numbers. In an attempt to find an approximation for alpha. Use Using the graph and starting with value, x1 equals to 4, clear? So we begin with this iteration, substituting the first value as 4. Part B of the question here is, determine whether or not this iteration formula can be used to find an approximation for alpha, justifying your answer, perfect. So that's the question for you. You can always uh, pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, to answer this question, uh, what we should do here is that when we say that this curve with this equation meets line y equals to x at a single point, x equals to alpha, then what we need to find this point this point which is at alpha right so at this point both these curves will have the same y value correct so I'll actually provide you a solution right here so it becomes easy for you to understand while correlating with the figure so what we're given here is 2 ln 8 minus x we have 2 ln 8 minus x and that should be equal to y equals to x right so that should be equal to x so both are y values right so we say y i should not be writing outside so y equals to we have 2 ln 8 minus x which is equal to x okay now what we can do here is that we can see what happens when i take x to the left side right and then we can substitute the value of 4 to and 3 to see whether the sign changes or not okay so so we can write this as 2 ln 8 minus x minus x equals to 0 right now for x equals to 4 what do we get we get 2 ln 8 minus 4 minus 4 right let's calculate this value for x equals to 4, we are trying to calculate the value. So, which is 2 ln 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 4. So, we'll use calculator to calculate this value. So, 2 times ln 4 minus 4 is basically equal to minus 1.2274. Correct? and so on. okay let us also find the value at x equals to 3 so when I substitute 3 here I get 2 ln 8 minus 3 minus 3 and that is 2 ln 8 minus 3 is 5 minus 3 let's calculate this value so we have 2 ln 5 minus 3 and that is equal to plus so we get a positive value 0 
Now, since the sign changes, we have a solution or zero, right? When x is greater than 3 and less than, I should say alpha in this case, rather x, right, equals to 4. Right? So the value of x, so alpha value, the actual solution, alpha, is definitely between 3 and 4. So that is how we could actually prove it. Is that clear to you, right? So, so that is the way we can actually prove it. Now, we need to answer the other question, which is, uh, a student uses the iteration formula, xn plus 1 equals to 2, ln 8 minus xn, n belongs to natural numbers. So, first term, second term, third term, like that. In an attempt to find the approximation of alpha, using the graph and starting with x1 as 4. So if I start with 4, then what happens? Let's see. Let's try to understand this. So if I start with in this particular formula, that is we are looking into this graph of log, natural log. So at 4, we get a value, which is right there. Is that clear to you? Right. Now, this value is actually corresponding to the y value on x here, right? So this is lower than y equals 2x, okay? So, so what we do here is that we look into this value of x, right? So we try this one as our second value of x. Now at this point, that is the y value. Do you see that? But this time we get a higher value correct but then we look into this value and then we converge the solution to alpha as you can clearly see so that is the iterative process which you can kind of see here right so so we actually get to the alpha value very very close do you see that so that is how we can explain that the iteration formula can be used to find an approximation for alpha. Is that clear to you? So this is the justification for the same. Clear? So we are sure that since the value of one function take away the other is positive on one side and negative on the other side, in between we do have a solution and this iteration method can be used. Is that clear? Right. So that is how we could actually answer this particular solution. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.